Hey, what up guys? Matt here, country song teacher. Quickly for your Tuesday talk here on a rainy, pretty cold day in Raleigh, North Carolina. I want to talk to you really quick about your struggles. Each of us, guy, gal, young, old, brother, sister, mother, father, whatever it is, we have certain struggles in our life that seem to just repeat over and over. It might be our attitude, something physical, something spiritual, something uh, relational, financial, the list goes on and on. But we all have our struggles. And I just want to pose something to you to get kind of get your mind thinking in a certain way. I heard my pastor say um, a, while, a ways back, if our dependence on God is the objective, then weakness is an advantage. Let me repeat that. If, if our dependence on God, if our goal is to depend on God for our life, then our weaknesses are actually an advantage because it forces us to, instead of having our hands in our own life and our grip on our own life, to release that and be in God's hands because we must, it's not a choice, and we must depend on him to get us through that. So a lot of you all going through hard times or different, maybe different sins, different struggles over and over, and you're begging God, take this away. Why is it I keep repeating these, these certain sins, these flaws, or these, or these I'm quick with my mouth, quick tempered or jealous or anger, whatever it is, and you're begging God to take it away, there is a chance he might choose not to take that away because it's that very thing that causes you to have less self-righteousness and more dependence on him. Give you a quick Bible illustration. In the Bible, the Apostle Paul, who wrote most of the letters of the New Testament, and um, he's the one who carried the faith, went on his mission trips, and, and, and carried the news of Jesus Christ really more than anyone in the whole Bible, wrote more of the Bible than anyone. <coughs> he referred to it as a thorn in his flesh. He says he has a thorn in his flesh, and he begged God. This is even after he's doing all this work, all these amazing things, going out and telling people about the resurrection of Christ. He begged God to remove this thorn in the flesh for whatever reason God decided not to. Many scholars are unsure. Maybe it's an eyesight thing. They're not sure exactly what this thorn was. But he begged God to take it away, and God decided, I'm not going to take it away. And I would say the same thing to you. I'm not saying God can heal you. I can't say God can help you. And we need to pray about things, fast about things, ask others for help and prayer. But sometimes our struggles, God allows us to go through, allows us to allows us to stay around because it is through those struggles we learn to depend strictly on Him, His love, His grace, His mercy, His truth to get us through each day. Instead of becoming self-righteous and knowing we're in control, we must forfeit our lives and submit to God. So whatever struggle you're going through, no, you're not alone. Many of us go through very similar struggles. And God could be using that very struggle to bring you closer to him. That's your Tuesday talk. Uh, let's keep sticking around for the lessons. Hope you guys have a great, great day. God bless you.